Hey, Paul Fedenich here with the VIP Home Team coming to you from a beautiful lakefront open house. Okay, we're sitting in this open house uh, this Saturday in March in sunny Florida. It's beautiful out here. This is what winter weather is like in central Florida. Gotta love it. But I want to share this special property. It's been completely redone. All right, from new roof just a year ago to everything around the house has been completely uh, revamped. The new, new windows, new flooring, new paint new kitchen, new bathrooms. Oh my God, wait till you see this. You're gonna absolutely love it. But before we go inside, I wanted to share with you, look, this is the brick paver driveway, right? This is in front of the house, but this goes all the way out front here. Okay, there, you have all kinds of front yard. Look at how far back the pavers go till you get to the, the road out front. You got plenty of room out here. So if you want to add an outbuilding, another detached garage, anything like that, maybe a mother-in-law suite, because you can actually, when we get inside, you can actually see that there is a two-car garage and it's nicely done inside, but it could easily be enclosed and made into another room, a good storage area, whatever you need. There is room to do that and maybe add a detached garage out this way. But hey, let's go inside. Let's take a look at this home. I mean, this is just really fabulous. And you know what? Ah, you know, it's funny. I don't know why we can't turn the view around on this because I'd love to be able to see, uh, let you see as we walk through. Okay, but here's the front entryway. You got lots of windows in the front. Let's in a lot of daylight, but check this out. I'm gonna open the door and wait till you see what you can see. Look at that. Look straight through the house. And what do you see out there? It might be tough to see on a small screen, but there's the lake. You walk in through the front door and you you can see the, the, the lake out back, which is a private lake. And uh, it's really quiet. We're gonna take a walk out there here in just a minute. Well, let's take a look at the inside here. As we walk in, we, we're walking right into the great room, right? And it's got a lot of nice features, a lot of great daylight coming in through the, uh, all the windows, natural light, gotta love that. Love the piano. I always wanted to learn how to play a piano. Let's go take a look at this first bedroom. I've got it set up, could be a den, okay? We've got just a uh, desk in here, but as you can see, lots of daylight coming through with these, these beautifully redone windows. We got lots of great closet space. Love these closet doors. I love the glass in these closet doors. And when there's a light inside, boy, they look nice. And check out the doors throughout the house and the hardware. Man, I love these, right? So different from the typical hollow core doors that, that you see everywhere. This is a bathroom. Check this out. This is nicely done. A lot of nice touches. Okay, great flooring. A look at the size of this shower and the tile work, the double heads, stonework on the floor. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous for for a secondary bathroom. Let's go ahead and take a look at this bedroom here. This is bedroom number two. Now, check it out as we walk in here. You got, again, lots of nice windows, lots of great daylight coming through, but look at this. How would you like to wake up with this view every day? Oh my God, this, all you gotta do is look out the window there and there's the lake just down the rest of the backyard, right? And again, another closet with these beautiful glass doors. Nice entryway door to the to the bedroom. Great room, lots of space, right? You can actually put your dining area up here and then have a bigger living area here. Uh, fireplace is a working wood burning fireplace. Let's go ahead and take a look at this bedroom here. This is bedroom number three. It is an ensuite. We're gonna walk in here again. All the doors, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So we do have a closet here. This is a big walk-in closet, okay? It's also got the light in there so you can see the nice effect. Uh, but it's a good, good walk-in closet. Nice shelving already in there. And again, lots of natural light coming through. You got barn doors too. They use a bunch of barn doors throughout the house. Love this to be able to block off the bathroom. And then we've got, we've got the bathroom here. And man, they have done such a fabulous job on all the showers in the house. Look at this. Love the glass work, love the stone work, love the tile. Just a fabulous job. They made the best use they could out of the uh, space that they've got. Now let's continue our tour. All right, we are gonna head into the kitchen. The kitchen has been completely redone. You've got nice touches everywhere. The cabinets are fantastic with some really awesome hardware. The appliances are new or newer, fairly new. Um, look at this. Now I, I do a lot of dishwashing in my house. I don't know about you, 
but I wouldn't mind standing here doing the dishes with this kind of view looking out the back window. Now, isn't that killer or what? So that's the view from the kitchen sink. Let's continue. We've got the master suite on this side of the house as we enter here. We've got a great, used to be used as a mudroom storage area. It's just open. Before we enter into master suite, we have the garage right out here. Garage is double step down. They, they're still in the process of doing some finishing touches to the house, but this garage has got tile floor. Look at that guys. How would you like to have a tile floor in your garage, right? You got windows in the doors too, so you got natural light coming in here. There's no light bulbs turned on in here. It's just natural light coming into a garage. You do have your uh, washer and dryers out here, but the nice thing is, is that this room, if you wanted to close it in, there is an air conditioning duct ready to go just above the ceiling, where all you have to do is open it up, put a vent in here, and this room will become air conditioned. So there's so much you can do if you want to put a detached garage outside, close this room off, make it a storage area over there, and close the laundry room, and then make this a big game room or you know sitting area, whatever you want to do with it. You have the ability to do and, and add on and, and create the space that you need in this house. So let's take a look at the master. And again, as we walk in, we have the commode room in here. Check out the sink. Is that not the coolest, tiniest sink you've ever seen? <laughs> they have made use of this space. It used to be a closet and they said, we want a separate toilet room. So we're gonna do that and we are gonna close it off with a nice barn door. How cool is that? Let's check out the rest of the master bath. We get the nice double sink, the vanity, the cabinetry, the stonework. It's absolutely beautiful. They use some nice mirrors. Check out this tub. What a great soaking tub. Nicely done. Look at the tile work. I mean, they really used some great touches in here. A lot of, a lot of great design went into this. Here's the shower. Again, more fantastic tile work. Okay, you've got uh, the one rain head up above. There is a glass partition that's uh, still due to come in. It should be here anytime. That'll help to close that off. All right, here we got the master bath. All right, master bath. We were just in the master bath. Here we got the master bedroom. We've got uh, one closet here on this side as we walk in. We have a door to the outside, to the back porch area. Here's the master bedroom. Again, here's the view, right? Wake up in the morning, you look outside, and there you go. Here is the master closet. This is, well, this would be her closet, right? The other closet that we just saw would be his. This is hers, has the light inside. Really cool, nice and big, step inside, also has Oh, exterior window let in some natural light into the closet. Gotta love that. Let's go ahead, we're gonna step outside. Here we've got the outside area. What a fantastic deck. This thing is huge. It's got tile on the floor. It's got the Trex flooring, a tile on the wall, I should say. You got another door leading to the inside there. There's your kitchen window. Got a great deck area here for, for sunning yourself. Got another small deck right off of the master bedroom. So you can sit there. But check this out here. And again, look at all the brick pavers. Brick pavers everywhere here. But look at this area here. This would make a great outdoor kitchen area. Okay, they're using it. They got a grill, a table all set up with the brick pavers. Okay, but you can really make a nice outdoor kitchen there. But look at all the brick pavers. They got a basketball hoop out here. I'm gonna take a quick run down to the lake. Look at these trees. Oh my God, absolutely gorgeous oak trees. The moss hanging down. It's really quiet out here. We got a neighbor with a leaf blower actually next door cleaning up his backyard a little bit. I don't know if you can pick up the sound on there, but it's pretty far away, several hundred feet. I mean, that's how, how far the neighbors are here. But look at this, a fire pit. Love the fire pit overlooking the lake. This is a private lake, right? There's no public boat ramp here, but you do have your own boat ramp. So just the path that we came down, on either side of the house, you have a gate, the width of, uh, you can pull a car, truck, boat down here. You got another gate down here at the bottom and you take this all the way down. Even though this is a walking path right now, it takes you down to where they put in a little ramp here, a brick paver ramp, so that you can easily drop off your boat and right now the water table is very low. You know, we're just coming out of our dry season here, which is winter time in Florida. So it tends to be a little bit dry. The lakes uh, tend to get a little lower. 
And as you can see, the, the water, water table would usually come up to almost where the pavers are here. Uh, the deck, the deck would be just above water level. But as you can see, it's uh, the water level is low, uh, but still plenty high enough to have some fun out there on the water. They, uh, they take their boat out, they do jet skiing, they do kayaking, uh, paddle boarding. So whatever you want to do on this lake, you can. It's never too crowded because you don't have public having access to the lake. So look, I hope you enjoyed the tour on this. The price tag on this home for a lakefront home, completely redone, 1.25 million. And, and I don't know where else you can find a home on a lake for that kind of money. But, you know, it's here. It's available to you right now. I hope that you, uh, you want to take a look at it. If so, just drop a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel. Send me a note. Give me a call at 407-744-1681. I'm happy to help you out. If we can't find you this one, if this one is sold by the time you find this video, we will find you another one. I can promise you that. All right, thanks. This is Paul Fedenis with the VIP Home Team signing off. Take care. Bye, bye, bye.